Tesla unveils an affordable car, Slack is now worth $3.8 billion, Google's April Fool's Day screw up, and more. It's Friday, April 1st, <gasps> and this is Crunch Report, presented by Toyota. Late last night, after years of speculation, Tessa unveiled the Model 3 at a starting price of $35,000. That makes it the most affordable Tesla to date. The base model will be able to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 6 seconds, and it'll get at least 215 miles per charge. All of the Model 3s will have a 15-inch landscape screen, autopilot hardware built in, supercharging support, and front and rear trunks. The car seats up to five people, and you can reserve one today for $1,000. Already, pre-orders have surpassed 150,000. Deliveries start at the end of 2017. So, Tesla's Model 3 can go from 0 to 60 in under 6 seconds. That's basically what's happened with Slack. The business messaging startup just raised a $200 million round at a $3.8 billion post-money valuation. The round was led by Thrive Capital, with participation from GGV, Comcast Ventures, and Slack's existing investors, including Excel, Index Ventures, and Social Capital. Slack is only a three-year-old company, and it's already raised $540 million. Oh, fun fact, Slack won the fastest rising startup at TechCrunch's annual Crunchy ceremony. In a statement, Slack CEO Stuart Butterfield said, as has always been the case, we are taking this opportunity to further secure our leadership position as we continue to execute on our ambitious growth plans. This capital adds to our existing reserves and increases our ability to focus on an uncompromising long-term strategic view. Speaking of hot startups, on-demand workforce company managed by Q announced a $25 million Series B round from Google Ventures and Kpor Capital. Managed by Q operators handle office tasks like restocking toilet paper and soap, fixing the plumbing system, and painting walls. The managed by Q operators are all W-2 employees, unlike a lot of other on-demand services. Managed by Q has raised $42 million in total. The startup is live in New York, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and Chicago, which is the same place rapper Kanye West hails from. Today, West made his new album, The Life of Pablo, available on Spotify, Apple Music, and Google Play Music. Why does this matter? Well, Yeezy originally said that he would never, never, never be on Apple, and that it would only be available on Tidal, which is Jay-Z's streaming music platform. Today, Tidal is the number four top grossing music app in the US Apple App Store. Just one day after Pablo's release, it was illegally downloaded by some 500,000 people. Now, West has made it pretty clear that he's in need of cash, and being on other services means additional revenue. So don't hate the player, hate the game. And in honor of April Fool's Day, AKA my least favorite day on the internet, Google had a prank that totally backfired. Google launched a mic drop button within Gmail so that you could have the last word on any email. Hitting the mic drop button inserted a GIF of some random creature dropping a microphone at the end of your email. If someone tried to respond, you wouldn't see it. Google has since removed the button because some people mistakenly inserted a mic drop on important emails. One person in, in Google's Gmail support page claimed to have lost their job as a result of the prank. In a statement, Google said, well, it looks like we pranked ourselves this year. Sad face emoji. Due to a bug, the mic drop feature inadvertently caused more headaches than laughs. We're truly sorry. The feature has been turned off. If you are still seeing it, please reload your Gmail page. That's the report for today. I'm Megan Rose Dickey. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. See you on Monday.